What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Um, in today's episode, I'm actually kind of taking a rewind back eight months ago. Um, eight months ago, I dropped a video that looks like this. Right, focus. It's called "How to Get Ghost Notes in Logic Pro X in FL or like FL Studio." So FL Studio has these things called ghost notes, or they're yeah, kind of ghost notes and kind of scale helpers. They're kind of both. They add kind of together, but you can pick any scale you want, and it shows you where you can click in the note. And I even have a free download, a free template for you guys to download for Logic users, so you don't have to go create this yourself. You can just download it, and, you know, plug it in, and then you can use a template for every beat like I do, and your workflow is going to be so much more efficient and your melodies are going to be insane because you're going to be able to keep in your scale perfectly let's just hop straight into this if you see here we have this little midi region here if we click on it as you can see it's like kind of like highlighted like ghost notes or the scale so what you can do is do command a to highlight all the notes and you can go over here to the left side where it says scale quantize and let's say I wanted a natural minor scale. So we're in A minor, uh, A natural minor now. So I can change it to C and it's pretty cool. It's just, it's whatever scale you want, honestly. You can go with major scales, chromatic, harmonic minors. Um, this is super useful for making melodies because if you don't know music theory like me, you get a little hectic trying to make a melody and trying to put your 808s in key with the melody and so forth um i am going to grab a quick instrument just to show you how this works uh, let's see let's go to spitfire audio let's go to labs piano we got a soft piano here um, so we're in a D natural minor, right? So what you can do to make some chords, it's to get like a progression going. I'm gonna show you how to make a progression. So we got C here. Switch off real quick. Get my headphones on. Okay. So our root notes here at D. So if we put a note, I gotta make a major region hold up. Alright, so we start on D. So we're going to start by making a D minor triad. So with these ghost notes, if you, so we have one on the root note, D. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip a blue one and put another note. Skip another blue one and put another note. And this is a triad right here. See, it sounds really good. You can also invert this middle note by holding Option Shift up. It's still a triad, just an inverted triad. And you could drop a note down here. Skip another note. Skip another note. Inverted triad. And then what you can do here. If you, if you want a major chord, you can skip two blue ones, put one there, and then skip one. So, as you can see, it's there's one, two, three, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven notes up to the major. That's what it sounds like. You get a little chord progression, super simple. Just an example of how you can use these ghost notes to be very efficient. And you can even key shift by clicking Command A, highlighting all the notes, and you just switch whatever key you were thinking of major scale. So now it's an E major from a D minor. Pretty cool. Um, that's pretty much it for these ghost notes. Yeah, super simple. Really don't see any other people talking about this. 
like I like to think I kind of came up with this method. I know there is other methods to getting scale helpers, but I think this is the best because you get that scale highlighting. Um, also, in order to get this, so it comes, it's gonna come like this, probably where it's unlooped. So you're just gonna have all these notes. And what you wanna do is just put your four bar loop in front of it, and then grab this end of it and loop it to that four bar. And you get, that's where the ghost notes essentially is gonna show up. Um, pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna show you how to... All right, guys, so if you do end up downloading this template, I'm gonna run you through how you can um, set this up in your DAW. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your finder window and you're gonna find audio music apps and you wanna go to project templates and pretty much all you're gonna do is you're gonna copy and paste the chef template into your project templates. For example, I just copied it and I'm pasting it again to show you guys and let me show you that it works. I'll click at it here. Go new from template, and there's a copy of my chef template right now. So that's going to be how you set up this template. I would highly recommend downloading this. This is like an absolute game changer for making music. If you don't know music theory, um, yeah. But thank you for watching this video. I think this update is kind of important because this is like one of my highest viewed videos, and I think this is going to really sum things up. And um, yeah, that's going to be it. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if this was helpful. If you need help with anything, setting this template up. If for some reason it's not working, go ahead and ask me. Check me out on Instagram. Put it up somewhere right here. Whip it up, chef at whip it up, chef. Um, and yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Uh, we're about to hit 200 subscribers, and I'm going to be dropping that free drum kit for you guys soon. So let's get to 200 so you can get that drum kit, baby. Let's go.